guys, I'm hunting a box of nickels today. I just popped it open and here's what we're looking at. So I popped it open and flipped all the enders and we've got a good amount of enders. So let's see what we've got here. We've got old reverse here, here, here. Uh, this one was a 1951, I think it is by the base of what I can see. And here we have a 1959 for sure. I saw that one. Here's a 1940, and this is also a 59. Then we've got some other old reverses, so it could be a good box. That's why I decided to film it, so let's start opening up rolls and see what we can find. Roll two, we have a 1958 nickel. This one will be minted out of Denver. That's a great find to add to the board. Let's keep on hunting and see what else we can find. Well, we're off to quite the slow start after having four enders at least, but the second find of the hunt will be a war nickel, I think. The second coin in on the right. You may not be able to see it from the camera, but it looks a bit green and worn, so let's check it out. And it is. 1944, San Francisco. That's a great find to add to the board. First silver of the hunt, and in a month, so we'll add it to the board and see what else we can find. Roll 10, we have a 1941 nickel. This one will be minted out of San Francisco. That's a great find out of the board. Let's see what else we can find. Roll 12, and I think we'll have finds uh, 4 and 5. We have a 59 right here, minted out of Denver. And right here, this looks like it'll definitely be a find. Philadelphia Mint Mark, 1942. Not a war nickel, but still a good find to add to the board. Let's see what else we can find in the rest of this box. Very next roll, and we've got a 1940 nickel. New oldest of the hunt, minted out of Philadelphia. Let's just quickly see if there's anything else we spot popping out of the roll. Real quick. Don't think I don't see anything else. Now let's get to the ender roll. The first one at least. Okay, the first ender roll, roll 14, has the 1951 on the end. Let's check out what mint mark. And it's a Philly, so it's not the semi key date 51S, but it's still a good find. Let's see what else we can find in the box. Roll 15, and we have a 1956 nickel. This one is minted out of Denver. We'll add it to the board and keep on hunting. Okay, roll number 18 has the 59 ender and a possible another ender. So let's quickly get this one open. Let me just start the tear down. Okay, we're back, and let's see what we're dealing with in here. So let's make sure this isn't a war nickel. Yep. Okay, the reverse one is a 62, so we'll just check out the 59, I guess. Minted out of Denver with some tarnish. I don't think it's the Black Beauty nickel, but you never know. We'll add it to the board and see what else we can find. Quick correction, we know it's not a Black Beauty because it's not a 59P or 58P. And roll number 20, we've got ourselves the 1940 Ender, minted out of Philly. And let's just quickly check to see if this is a coin. Nope. Not a find. Keep on hunting and see what else we can find. Okay, same roll, and I think we'll have a couple more finds. First off, right there is a 1956 nickel, minted out of Philly, I think. Yep. And this one's almost guaranteed to be a find based off the reverse. Philadelphia Mint Mark, 1941. Let's add them to the board and see what else we can find. Roll 28, we have our first foreign coin. It'll be a 1999 Canadian nickel. We'll add to the board. And see what else we can find. Roll 33, and we've got ourselves a first year Jefferson nickel. 1938. It's in not terrible shape, but I don't think it'll have a mint mark based on the detail. Nope. And it looks like it's also been cleaned at some point. But 38p, that's still a great find and a low mintage nickel to add to the board. Let's keep hunting and see what else we can get. Roll 35, and I almost guarantee we have an Aldi by this reverse. So let's check it out. No mint mark. 1940. I'll add to the board. Let's keep on hunting and see what else we can get in the remaining 15 rolls. Uh, about 10 rolls left, or 11. And we've got another find. By the reverse, it looks like we'll have a Philadelphia mint mark. 1941. I'll add to the board. Let's get back to the hunt. Very next roll, we're going to have our first 1946 nickel minted out of Denver. Let's add it to the board. Let's see what we get in the remaining nine rolls six rolls left and we've got a canadian nickel 1998 i don't see mint marks on it i also don't check them though i'm not big into canadians let's just finish up this roll real quick don't see anything else let's wrap up the last six rolls with the bang only two rolls left and we're gonna have a 1949 nickel this one's minted out of 
Philly. We'll add to the board and finish Okay, it. final roll of the box, and we've got a 1959 nickel minted out of Denver. I'll add that to the board. And since we're here and there's no other finds in this roll, let's just do the wrap up. So it was an okay box to actually I'll call it good because there's a war nickel. Not a great amount of finds, little variety between the 40s and 50s and a couple foreigns. Typically I get about 25 finds in a war nickel, or buffalo or proof nickel in this area. So it's an okay box for the area, but this 44S is definitely the key coin of the hunt. That is the best find, and they're worth about $1.50 to 2 bucks right now with Silver Spot. This one's got a little damage, though. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and share. Have a great day.